So we have this beautiful sunroom. However, it is not yet to our taste. What I'm gonna do today is I'm going to put up some curtains, make it feel a little bit more homey. I wanna put up some shelves on that wall there. I have a shelf from my previous home that holds wine glasses underneath. I'm gonna do a DIY lighting fixture above the table. And I think I'm going to run by the fabric store and see if I can find something fitting for a tablecloth. And I really hope that I can finish most of this today. To blossom, hoping to break through the storm. So I've got two curtains done. I'm not sure if I want three or four, so I'm just gonna hang these two and then decide. But I thought it'd be wise to do all the sewing in one go. And I still wanna make a tablecloth as well. So I've got two pieces of fabric that I could use. I thought this really looked like a tablecloth, the way they're supposed to look. But I also have this. I'm just gonna lay them out on the table, see what it looks like. And then we will sew these up as well. And then we will hang the curtains. Is running through the golden doors. You know you gotta take the right. It's now or never by my side. Now what I'm gonna do, because I really like the look of it, but also because it's incredibly easy, is I will attach these IKEA curtain rings to the curtain. I love these things. I use them for all my curtains, really. In this case, I'm gonna leave them black, but I have spray painted them uh, a gold color before, and that looks great. the sewing done. I did two curtains and two tablecloths. Now the original plan was to hang four curtains on this wall, then I changed my mind to three, but now that I see two hanging I'm not quite sure if I want to add another one. So I'm just gonna live with this for a few days, see how I think about it later on. Now I have these shelves right here that I used in my previous house. Now, they are already stained in the color that I always use, the chestnut stain, and I think they're even an okay size for here. Oh, the fun thing about this, by the way, is I added pieces of trim to the bottom of the shelf, like this, and that way I can hang wine glasses from the bottom. So I'm gonna start by hanging the smaller one and see where this is supposed to go. So I don't really have a plan. Things that have disappeared you know just where to look You know just where to look And you You have a heart of gold And I Look forward to growing old Cause I'll be old with you Oh I'll be old with you Okay, so it's the next day and I have taken off the curtains because I do not like the curtain rod. So we're gonna spray paint it. I really would love to use a copper color on this, but because the wood grain is pretty obvious, I think it might look a little silly. But we're gonna paint it black first anyway as a primer and then we'll see how it looks and if I still wanna use the, um, the copper spray. So I'm waiting for it to dry and it's taking forever. So I thought in the meantime, we could work on the light for above the table. Now I saved this 
gigantic branch from a couple of trees that we had to cut down a few weeks ago. I'm planning on hanging some pendant lights from it and decorate it with maybe a couple of faux plants. No. Yeah, so let's do it. Plant a garden in the summertime And pick you flowers in the rain or shine Just because I can Or just because I can these in a copper color okay so it's up now this is where things get a little bit tricky I want two pendant lights hanging from the branch now I've got a little hole in the wall where um, the wires come out from the previous light that was hanging there so that's fine we can use that I want one wire going up and then I want two lights hanging from it. So I need to use these connectors to do so. But you wanna hide these, you don't wanna have to look at them. So I was thinking that maybe I could use this little basket with a full plant and hang it right under that rope and then make the wire go down inside the basket, hide the connectors in there and then make it go up around the branch again. It's the coldest hand that run down this land Where the ocean lands I decided to keep it it's black, by the way. Sound, the damn smallest crowd But their hearts break loud Far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards the land and sea Now this is called part one because there is going to be a part two at some point. This is just the dining area, there's a lounge area as well. I just haven't found the furniture and everything that I really need for there yet. So it might be a while but there's going to be a part two at some point. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Press that like button if you want to let me know because that really helps. And I hope to see you next week.